guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Atlantis by C fret, which is an awesome tune. Now I'm gonna teach you how to play this based off their most recent live performance and using a combination of that and the original recording. Several years ago in live performances, they'd play this without a capo, but they would detune their guitar down half a step, which is kind of annoying. I think it's much easier to just whack a capo on. So for the basics, you'll just need a guitar and standard tuning first and then place a capo on the fourth fret of your guitar. In this lesson, I'll teach you two different ways of playing this song. The first method will be a finger picked version. The second method will be an easy strummed version if the finger picking is too difficult for you. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in guitar in general, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so I'm gonna start by teaching you a finger pick method of playing this song, and then I'll teach you an easy strum version if finger picking is too difficult, and you just want some easy chords to strum and sing along. So let's start with the intro, which is just one line of tab. Now we're gonna start with a C major seven chord shape like this. So ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string and middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Now for our finger picking hand, your thumb will take care of the sixth and fifth strings and your index and middle will take care of the fourth and third strings respectively. We will change these assignments later on in the lesson though. Let's start with this first bar and let's break it up into four smaller sections. So for our first little section, we'll be plucking the bass note, so the fifth string, then fourth, bass, and then third string. So bass, fourth, bass, third. So that's our little picking pattern chunk. We're gonna play that three times for this C major seven shape. For our final chunk, we'll move this exact same position up two frets and we'll play a picking pattern here. And the bar in total. The next bar we're going to move up another position so we're going to move our ring finger up to the seventh fret relative to the capo so it's two frets up from our previous position and index finger will be on the fifth fret of the fourth string we'll still keep that third string open now we're going to pluck this shape for four of those picking patterns then for the third bar we're going to go back to our c major seven shape we're going to pluck this for three patterns. And then for our final little chunk, we're just going to pluck the bass note in the fourth string, but then pull off. So with your fretting middle finger, pull it in a downwards motion, and then you'll get that open string ringing out afterwards. So the final little chunk, and the Byron total. For our final bar, we'll go to an E minor chord. So index and middle finger on the second frets of the fifth and fourth string. We'll start by pinching the sixth and fourth string. So with your index and thumb, hold that out for an eighth note. And then we'll pluck bass note, third string, bass note, fourth string. Hold on to that a little bit and then pull off. So this note will be held on for a little bit and then pulled off. So don't pluck it and then instantly pull off. It needs to dwell a tiny bit and then we do our pull off. And so far. And then we're gonna quickly go back up to this D shape here on fifth and fourth frets. And we're gonna pinch the fifth and fourth strings together. So the final bar in total. And that's the intro in total, which will sound like this. speed next we get to the verse which is two lines of tab and it's quite simple because it's just based off that intro tab that we've already learned so the first line of tab is identical to intro nothing new there the second line of tab differs just a tiny bit in the second bar so when we go up to this E minor shape up here, we're not gonna be playing this for the entire bar. So we're gonna play three of those picking patterns. 
And then we're going to shift back down to this D position, this fifth and fourth fret position for one picking pattern. That's the only difference here between the second line of tab and the first line of tab. So the verse will sound like this in total. Next we get to the pre-chorus. Now first off we're going to change our finger picking assignments. So our index and middle finger will temporarily move down to the third and second strings and your thumb will stay on this fifth string for the time being. Start with an A minor seven chord shape but we'll keep our index finger lifted. So just middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Let's break this bar up into three little sections. So we're gonna start with an open fifth string and then we're gonna pluck the open second string but hammer on our index finger and then we'll pinch the fifth and third strings together. And in total. Now for our next little section, we're going to take out your next finger back up to the fourth string. So it's now gonna be able to pluck the fourth string. We're gonna pluck the bass note, fourth, bass note, fourth, bass note, and then your middle finger will stay here and pluck the second string. So it's just your index finger that's temporarily being moved to another string. So the second chunk. And then for the final chunk, we'll hit the bass note and then the third string. So your index finger will come back to the third string and then thumb will hit the fourth string and then third string again with your index. So thumb, index, thumb, index for that final chunk. We put those three parts together and we have this. For the next bar, we do pretty much the exact same thing, but we're now playing a C chord shape. So start with a C chord, but have your index finger lifted at the start. And for the first chunk, it's the same. So bass note, second string, hammer on, and then a pinch of the fifth and third. And the second chunk is the same in terms of the picking pattern. So fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth, second. And then the final chunk of four notes is thumb, index, thumb, index and all together. For the third bar, we go to an E minor chord. So index and middle finger on the second frets of the fifth and fourth string. Let's break this bar up into four small sections. So the first short section is bass note, then fourth string with your thumb, and then open second string. So now the second section is thumb, index, thumb, index on the sixth, third, fourth, third strings. Now for the third little section, we're going to take our pinky finger and put on the third fret of the second string momentarily. We'll start by pinching the sixth and second strings, hold that out for an eighth note, and then pluck the fourth string, and then lift your pinky finger and hit the open second string. So the third little chunk. And then the fourth chunk is the same as the second chunk. We put that all together. And then we go to our final chord, which is bass around a D, but we're just going to have our index finger here on the second fret of the third string. Again, let's break this up into four smaller sections. So the first section is the open fourth string held out for an eighth note, and then two quick plucks of the third and second. And then for the second little chunk, we're gonna go fourth string, third string, fourth string, third string. So two, we, and na. And then for the third little chunk, we'll put our ring finger down on that third fret of the second string. We'll pinch the fourth and second strings, hold that out for an eighth note, and then go the fourth string, lift your ring finger and hit the open second string. So the third chunk, three, and uh, And then the fourth little chunk is the same as the second little chunk. So fourth, third, fourth, third, and all together. And the 
first line of tab in total. Now the second line of tab is identical with one exception. So the third bar in the second line of tab, instead of going to an E minor, we're gonna play a G chord shape. So just your middle finger on the third fret of the sixth string. But the picking pattern itself is identical to our first line of tab when we have the E minor. So the picking pattern is the same, it's just the chord shape which is different. And we are again on that third chunk going to fret the third fret of the second string. So the third little chunk, we put our ring finger down on that third fret, do the pinch, and then fourth string, and then open second string again. So this third bar. And that's it for the second line of tab, which is pretty much the same, except we replace the E minor for a G. And in total, the pre-chorus sounds like this. The next part to learn is the chorus, which is two lines of tab. We're gonna start with the C chord, and let's break this bar up into four small chunks. So for the first little chunk, we're gonna pluck the bass note, and then third string with our index, and then fourth string with our thumb, and then our second string with our middle finger. So it's just a simple Travis picking pattern here. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Now, for our second little chunk, we'll do the exact same thing, except when we get to the second string, we'll then put our pinky finger onto the third fret of the second string. So, but we'll only put that pinky finger down just before we need to play that second string. So, C chord, and just fret that pinky just before we're gonna pluck it. The third section is back to our original C shape, so again, we hold on to the previous second string note until we need to pluck the second string again and then we go back to our C chord. Like that. And then the fourth chunk is just the bass note, third string, fourth string, and third string again. We don't go up to that second string. First bar in total. Then for our second bar, we go to an E minor chord. Our picking pattern is similar, but our bass note is now the open sixth string. So for the first chunk, it's bass note, then third, fourth, and second string. So one, E, and uh. And then for our second chunk, we'll start off the same way. But for the final second string pluck, we'll put our pinky finger onto the third fret of the second string. So. Hold on to that third fret of the second string. For this third chunk, we'll start off the same way. So bass, third, fourth, and then we'll lift our pinky finger and hit the open second string. So the third chunk. And then the fourth chunk is this bass note, third, fourth, third, and the bar in total. For the third bar, we'll go to a D chord. Again, let's break this up into four sections. So, so the first little section is fourth string, third string, fourth string, and second string. So that's our four note chunk. We're gonna play this three times. And then for our fourth chunk, it's fourth string, third string, fourth string, and then you can lift all your fingers and hit the open third string as we transition to our D at 11 shape. So the third bar. Then we go to a D at 11 shape. So it's the same as a C chord, just everything shifted up two frets. For our picking pattern, it'll be bass note, third, fourth, second. We're gonna play that three times. 
fourth picking pattern, it's bass, third, fourth, third. So the first line of tab in total. Now the second line of tab is identical except that final D at 11 bar is just shortened a tiny bit. So we're going to play two picking patterns and then finish by hitting the bass note and holding that out for the rest of the bar. So that's it for the chorus which just sounds like this. Next we get to the break which is after the first chorus and it's basically just the second line of tab in the verse. So that's pretty simple. Then there's a second verse, a second chorus and then there's a bridge. Now the bridge section is again just the same as the break but just repeated through twice. So it's that second line of tab in the verse so you've already learned it. The only other thing to learn is the outro which differs a tiny bit. So again it's the same as the break but at the very end we add a few more notes. So on the final bar, we have that E minor going to the D shape. And usually we would just stop there, but we're going to continue plucking. So we're gonna start with the pinch and then go fifth, third, fifth, fourth, fifth, third. So. And then we'll shift this back down to our C shape and we'll have our pinky finger here on the third fret of the second string and we'll just strum up to the second string and that ends the song. So the final bar for the outro. And that's everything for the finger picked version. So now I'll teach you a super easy strummed version if the finger picking is too difficult for you and you just want an easy way of strumming this song and singing along. Let's start with the intro slash verse chord progression and it's just one line of chords here. So we have a C chord. Now our strumming pattern here is gonna be a 16th note strumming pattern that goes like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we're gonna play that once for the C. And then we're gonna to go to an E minor. So from the C, just keep your middle finger where it is and put your index on the second fret of the fifth string. I'm gonna play this for a full strumming pattern. We go back to another C for a full strumming pattern. And then for the fourth bar, we go to an E minor and a D. Now this E minor and D are contained within one strumming pattern. And the strumming pattern is gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up, down. And we'll just change from the E minor to the D on the final down strum. So it'll sound like this. And that's it for the intro slash verse, which sounds like this. You'll also use that intro and verse progression in the break and also the bridge and outro. Next we get to the pre-chorus and there's two lines of chords here. So we're gonna start with an A minor chord here. And we're gonna strum this with a different strumming pattern. It's gonna go down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So once for the A minor, and then we go to a C chord for one strumming pattern. And then we go to an E minor for one strumming pattern and a D. The second line of chords is almost the same, except instead of an E minor, we play a G chord. Now every chord is played for one full strumming pattern and the pre-chorus will sound like this.
Now, all the strumming patterns I teach you in this easy version are just suggestions. So if there's a strumming pattern that feels more right for you, then go for it. The final thing to learn in this easy version is the chorus and it's really nice and easy. So we're gonna start with a C chord and we're gonna continue on with that same strumming pattern that we had in the pre-chorus. So one strumming pattern here, one strumming pattern for the E minor, and then we have a D at 11. So it's the same shape as a C, but we just shift everything up two frets. And we're gonna play that for two strumming patterns. Now the second line of chords is identical, except we're gonna play that D at 11 for one strumming pattern. And the second time we play it, we're just gonna strum it and hold it out. So the chorus in total. Now you don't have to play the D at 11. If you want, you can just replace that with a regular D chord as well. But I think the D at 11 has a nice sound to it. And that's everything you need to learn for the easy strum version. So now I'll be doing two playthroughs of the song. The first playthrough will be the finger picked version and the second playthrough will be an easy strummed version for the beginners out there. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play these back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you wanna grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.